Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. Okay, so I just want to address a few things regarding Haley Baldwin and uh, Justin Bieber. I've been getting emails from people, several people, and comments on uh, videos of them that Haley is poisoning Justin. And Haley has voodoo curses on him, um, hexes, uh, and I think that's really over the top. I get people asking if he is being, um, what's the word, uh, not coached, but, oh, what did the one email say? Hold on here. spells put on him and he's being handled by Haley like I don't think she I don't feel she has the power to do any of this Haley loves Justin she does I, I really feel she's um is trying to be a loving wife to him girl, you know, was a loving girlfriend, uh, she puts up with his shit. And I don't know if there's a lot of you out there would put up with his shit. So you got to give her credit where credit is due. And Justin makes his own choices. He chose to marry her. She didn't put a spell on him or a curse uh, he has free will and people need to understand this that like I don't feel he's got any curses on him I, there's no heaviness with him other than his own uh, I don't know if he's I don't know uh, like he's got depression right I don't know if he's bipolar or anything like that but um, he's got depression going on and they are a normal couple that are just trying to make it through the day okay so for people out there that write mean things write mean things about them that you know uh, you know she's got a, a curse and spell on him I don't feel that's the case uh, I mean they're married everybody need to, needs to accept the fact that they're married and they're trying to make this work. I mean, I get some people who say, how do you know Selena wants to be back with him? You're reading her mind. I'm like, I've never claimed to read anybody's mind. I feel energies. So this really isn't an update reading on them, but I just kind of want to clear it, like put it out there that I don't feel Haley has gone to those lengths to put spells on him. He has free will. He does whatever he wants to do. Justin is needy and Justin doesn't like being alone. So he's the one that is um, making these decisions and choices. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm going to get my cards out just to see what the latest energies are regarding Justin and Haley. Should have had my cards ready. And can somebody tell me what an Illuminati is? That seems to be the latest buzzword about something. You know, Haley's an Illuminati and her dad is an Illuminati. I have no clue. Her dad is trying to be supportive and um, just be the dad and be the father-in-law. I don't think he's put any curses or spells on them either. Had somebody say, the dad's an Illuminati. I don't know what that is. Again, I don't know what an Illuminati is. All right, what are the messages regarding Justin and Haley? What are the messages regarding Justin and Haley? What are the messages regarding Justin? 
Justin and Haley. Justin is so sensitive and he really needs someone that's going to baby him. And Haley's willing to baby him. Like Selena wants a man. There's, there's, two, there's a difference there. The energies between Haley and Justin. Energies between Haley and Justin. So what are the messages regarding Haley and Justin? We have the Three of Wands. And this is about working together. It's about traveling. It's about expansion. Um, it's about uh, manifesting. So they have manifested what they have. So this is also that, that teamwork, them trying to work together. We also have the Devil card, and the Devil card represents people that are compulsive. This card represents people that are um, codependent. It is being tied to a situation voluntarily. It's like these two people are chained to the Devil voluntarily because this is where they're comfortable. They're codependent. Um, you can see the like the chains are around their necks, but not very tight. They could easily unbind themselves. So this is codependency. It's compulsive behaviors. This is them. We have Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords talks about um, conflict and trying to get clarity on the situation, on the two of them, the relationship. Then we have Three of Cups. And this is about celebrations. It's friendship. Um, this could be about them. I don't know if they party a lot, but just really wanting to have fun. And then we have the Ten of Cups. They Right now, they could be, I mean, they've been together a year and a half, something like that. So this could also talk about this honeymoon stage sort of a thing. Like, you know, this is what they want. This is what they have. Ten of Cups talks about marriage. It's love, support reunions, friendship. Okay. Let's see what the future messages are. Justin and Haley. Like, do I feel that this is a solid relationship? It's not. But they didn't get together because Haley put a spell on him. Future messages. It's like I, it's like I, like when I read their energy, it's like two kids trying to make their way through the world. And her having to treat him like a child. You know, he likes to be, he likes to be, he's like a little boy and, um, she, she gives in to him. Messages, Justin and Haley. Okay, future messages regarding Justin and Haley. We have the strength card. Okay, so the strength card speaks about um, self love and confidence, learning to love yourself. Okay, then we have um, Ace of Wands. This is about 
wanting the inspiration to create something, whether it's a new job or a project. I don't know if both of them are going back to work or they're working, but this is about wanting to create something. Now, you guys see how many cards I have here, right? There is the double card again. It has fallen out. So here, it, what's the future messages? That codependency. The compulsions. It's, it's still going to be there. They do things very spur of the moment. They don't think things through. And I don't feel like Haley says, wait a minute, Justin, let's just think about this. I think she just goes with it. She enables him. We have the three of swords. So the three of swords is about, this talks about heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression, surgery. He could be falling into a depression. He's immature. You know, I, I think that's something that I keep saying over and over and over again is that I find he's immature and boyish, boy-like. And then here with, we have the King of Cups. So this is someone who's tolerant, empathetic. He's the Pisces man. But these guys also are not aware of their own emotions, so they seem detached. But they're very, very super sensitive on the inside. Okay? Okay, there you go. Now, just to recap, I don't believe Haley has put any curses, spells on him. Justin does what he wants to do. Okay? All right. Okay. If anybody's looking for a private reading, you can email me. I will email you back within 24 hours. I'll do an energy reading, tarot spread. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, thumbs up and even hit the bell icon on my channel and then you will know every time I put a new video out. Okay? Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.